Okay, this, look at, look at this. I almost just like talked too soon. Jeez Louise. I thought I did red. Uh, if not, here they are. I thought I did, but I'm just going to quick put them again. Good luck, everyone. And geez, I talked too soon. Look at that. I almost just, I just, look. What are you going to do? It's life. Uh, Trader Gals talk about what I said about the market. It, 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 again, it's guesswork. We don't, we don't guess here. I make predictions based on what I'm seeing in live time. That's it. There's no guessing. If, if the market crashes, I'll see it immediately. Like, I won't have to guess. I won't have to guess. I won't have to guess at all. So I'm predicting targets in the market that are valid with real reasons, and they're going to every single solitary one of them. And the market's just doing exactly what I see it doing. I mean, I'm saying it's going to do this. Look at what I did yesterday, what I called in the market yesterday. And anyone hold the market long yesterday, that was a great call. I'm just seeing it live, the price action, reading the gaps live, and telling you where it's going. That's not guessing. That's doing and seeing the right information. You know, these people that are saying the market's going to crash are guessing. Good luck, everyone, here with this. And I have absolutely no idea where we're taking it now. So let's see. Gosh darn it. You got to give yourself two shots in this now. If I aggressively do this, be prepared to stop out in the first setup. I'm telling you right now, if you don't want to do that here, just wait, 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 wait. Gosh darn it. Look, look, I, 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 I really, I said everything I said and then look what I ended up doing. So just, you got to be patient here a minute. No one should be in anything yet. All right. Well, this is not going to be a small stop. We're going to do, uh, no, it's not going to be a small stop. We're, it's, the stop's going to have to be 75. It's going to be 25 by 75 if this hits in here. And if it doesn't, we'll get lucky and get a better entry. All right, just let it rally. Let it rally. We're, no one should be in this yet. No one should do anything yet. No one should do anything yet with anything here. And DWA doesn't look right. And the CHK, I'm not watching. And this may not work because this just didn't do what I wanted it to do. But I'm not going to be off of it yet. I'm not going to be off of it yet. <clears throat> okay, let's do 40 by 75. 40 by 75, HPQ. 40 by 75, and that's better than 25. And really don't take it till it hits. Here, I'm taking it. I'm in it. I just did it. Get the stop at 75. 75. I preempted it. It didn't hit 40 yet, though, but I just did it. I just put the stop in at 75. I took a chance. Let's see what happens here. It didn't hit 40 yet, though. I thought it was going to. It was three pennies. All right. Well, I'm in it. I'm in it. Stop 75 for me. Let's see what happens. And you know what? Actually, this doesn't work here. It's not going to work. If it doesn't work here, it's not going to work. If it doesn't work here, it's not going to work. This is it. This is the end of this for this. If it doesn't work here, it is not going to work for the day. And I actually thought that was going to hit. Gosh darn it. This is still okay, though. Here. 40 is valid. 
I, I just took it. I thought it was going to hit right that second. And I want to make sure to get in. I'm in. Stop 75. Here, it's going to hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 75 is a stop. Let me look at this one here. Uh, you could do this too. I'm not doing two things today. I just don't feel like I really even want to. Uh, 39 by 60. 39 by 60 CHK. 39 by 60 CHK and HPQ. This didn't really trigger yet though. I just decided to do it because I thought it was going to... I thought it was going to hit right in there, but I am in it. Stop is 75. CHK just gave you a number. I didn't do that. And DWA, I don't think anyone should do, and I'm not even going to look at it. Market is, I didn't even talk about the market today. Why bother? I didn't see that, Dave. Dave just saw an invisible tick. Which direction did it go? I need to know which direction to go. Quick, right in the room. Which direction? Quick, 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 quick. Here, this is going to go. This is going to go. This is good, people. It's good. Where was the invisible tick, Dave? Right in the room. Here it goes. There, 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 there. I'm already in. Yeah, woohoo! All right, here we go with this. I have no numbers. 34. 34. Yeah, nice call. Everybody should be in it. This is it. I told you today. No chance of failure, HPQ. And it didn't even do what I wanted it to do, but we did it. And I told you, you might need two trades. But that was good advice because this didn't exactly set up the way that I thought that it would, but it's okay. Here, here it goes. Man, oh man. Here we go. Through the low. As soon as we get through the low, we're going to get right through $35. Here we go. Here we go. What day is it? It's Wednesday. My gosh, it feels like it's Friday. Here, come on. HPQ. Nice call. Did everybody get it? I took that before I triggered, but I thought, here we go. Yay. Yay. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Catwoman's in it. Jeff B's in it. Line 38. Red, Lineage, Galahad, Dave. And here it goes. Just let it break 35. There's nothing going to stop in it now. It's going to break 35. Let's see what kind of mojo you got today. And by the way, this is going to 34, 100% conviction. It's $1.16 from here. And it'll be almost $1.50 from our entry. Let's see what you got. I'm telling you, this is going to 34 today. Boom. From where it opened. And I thought I put the numbers in the room this morning, but maybe I didn't. Here, look at this. is beautiful. Look. Oh, my gosh. I'm so the guys is working early because I'm like, you know what? I don't want to hold something to later today, even though I really like this. I have a webinar today at 430. I have to spell check it and everything else. And I'm like, I don't have time to trade into lunch today after 11 o'clock. Here. And this cooperated very nicely. Let's look at the spy. And we'll look at this. And what happened with this? Nope, 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 nope. And I didn't call this. And then the other one was this. And did this hold? Yeah, you could still be in this. Where I told you, put the stop. This is good. I'm not doing it, but that's fine. Here, it's probably bound itself at 35. Well, do whatever you want. You can take some out right here if you want. Nobody said this is going there immediately. Surf dog bid what? What did you do? Oh, you got it. Okay. <clears throat> yes, I'm talking so loud here now. Losing my voice. <sighs> I, I should have taken like five hours on this. <laughs> I told you what I said about this. And for those of you that didn't sign in the room this morning and hear me talk about it, I ain't talking about it for that long, but it's like every single time I say no chance of failure. <laughs> In fact, I should put that in my training plan. I did risk more than normal on this because of that, although I didn't verbalize that because I didn't want people, you know, copying me for that. But I really should, I actually should make a rule about it. I actually, I'm telling you it's going to 34. I don't know what time, and I'm not saying I'm saying the whole thing till there, but I did risk more than one R in this because of what I said no chance of failure, but I actually need to have real written rules about that, which I don't. But I only really have started doing that like in the last year or something. Here, 3508 is a low, let it drop, let it break, let it go, boom. Nice call, man, woo, do, 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 do. Let me just see where this went. Oh, this is so great, people. Did everyone get it? If you didn't get it, I have no idea, but everyone should have gotten it. Oh, come on. Don't you dare not break it. Look at this thing. Okay, the market is holding. Is anyone surprised? No. No, no one should be. Here. 
Oh my gosh, it's going to break. Stay with it. Did anybody kill it? I hope not. Did anybody, is everybody in it? Is anybody not in this HPQ? Is everybody in it? Here it goes. There it goes. Let it break. Let it go. Let it drop through 35. It's going to crash, crash, crash. Let it go through the whole number. Here we go. Next target in this is 34, 60-ish. Right down. Let's see if we get it down. You know what? We have to watch 30. Any, here, hold on. I'm going to see how this acts to the whole number. If this goes somewhere crazy in the 80s or the 70s or something like that here, past 35, I got to take half out. And that's what I would do. But just try to, here, here we go. Here, look. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. You're holding to what? 34 or 35? This isn't done at 35. I'm just saying this could, you know. Here, it has to, oh, it did break it, but I mean, it has to really, 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 really break it. Oh, you're holding 34. Good job. Beautiful. Fabulous. I have to look at the time of the day because I have things to do. Here, keep going. 97 was a low. Well, we got lucky here because this could have been a bigger stop when I was originally here. I was originally, this actually ended up being a good entry because I was originally like, ah, oh, crap, because I didn't really want this to be anywhere near more than 40 cents because, I mean, this doesn't go $10 on the day, so this isn't fossil. But I was tight with the stop here. It was the right thing to do. And then you know what? When we're done, we're going to talk about when. I mean, again, I had to go somewhere yesterday afternoon. I had an appointment, but I lowered the stop on when because I knew I couldn't hold it through all afternoon. I had an appointment. And I might do that because I have things going on right now in my life in the afternoon more so than ever. And honestly, you know, you if you kept that at the original place, you were in that all day and it went to the dream target number. Did anybody do that? I had to lower the stop because I had things to do and I'm not going to leave the house and I don't know if sometimes if I'm back before four. And yesterday I knew I wasn't going to be. But um, really, that was beautiful. JJ had a great call. Closed at 35. You're off the trades and futures. Have a great day. Oh, you mean are you talking about this? You're out of this already? All right. All right, then. Um, CHK. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful, too. Oh my gosh, I didn't even look at this then. Here, did anyone do this? Keep Here, follow this through. I put the numbers in the room. CHK, I had it down. I had it written down. I'm telling you where this is going to go right now. 1750. 1750, 1740. Here, this broke 18. This isn't done either. Man, this is a goodie too. Here, Jeffy said nice call. Yes, you are right. It's a nice call. Look at all of this. You could have done both. Here, did anyone do both? Wow. I could have done both actually. But I took more than one hour risk in this, so I didn't want to get nuts. But you could have done both. This was a great call. This isn't done either. Time of the day is 941. If it sets up again, I'll call it another time. Who did this? Quick, right in the room. Who did CHK? You know what? You're here with me. You should do everything I call. And Trader Gal was doing that for a while. Did you do that today, Trader Gal? Look at this price point here, too. This is a great move for this price point. Look at this sucker. And this is here. Look, 1750. Get it right on down. Here, right now. If you're in this right now, you're staying it through. Put the stop over 18. If it bounces, I would be out and I'll recall second setup. If this continues down, it could go straight right on down to the number and make the low of the day here in a 945. And I'm still in this and it's fine. And I told you this isn't going to go somewhere immediately, one in one second. But I do think this continues or I would not still be in it, but. But the market is showing some red, but it's still not going to go anywhere. Man, here, here this is going to go right to the number. This is a really nice call. Uh, yes to both. Wonderful. I'm telling you, don't let your whole position get over 18 in this, though. This is a beautiful, fabulous move. It's like literally, you should be out of half of this right now. You should be out of 75% of this soon, any second. And don't do anything with this piece of crap. Uh, there was a lot of things today that I didn't really look at. Why? Because I knew the ones that were good. I just knew it. Market. Let me just look here at the market. So the market gap down, really, I looked at it as neutral. Yeah, this is neutral. It's a neutral gap on the SPY and the Qs today. It wasn't a down gap. 
And we are showing a little bit of red here at 943. I didn't pay a lot of attention to the market today because I didn't really care. Why? Because I had my nice gaps and I knew they'd work regardless of the market. And I actually said there was a potential that they could all work. However, DWA never set up. So you, if you looked at that and watched it, you didn't lose any money. You might have wasted time, but I didn't have it up right away. HPQ, we're looking through the next number of this is 34.60. And you're going to have to wait a little bit. It's bouncing here now. I'll call a secondary setup in this. And this is, look at this. Look, it didn't get over 18. This is the whole trade here. If you're in this, this is the whole trade here. Oh, my lanta. This is almost going to go a dollar from where I called it with a 20 cent stop. Wow, I should have done them all. I don't even know why I didn't do them all. <laughs> look at this. Oh, this is, looks so good. Here, look at this. Wow. Here, this is it. Get out. That's it. That's the done. It's done. Right there. Out, 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 That's a dollar from the move. That was a great call. Be out of it. And this is still going to go. But I mean, I'm up in this. And it's still going to drop. This is still going to go to 34. But I'm like, oh, my lanta. Because everyone should be out of this. That was a great, 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 great call. And it pooped over the high, and I told you where to put the stop, and it held you in the trade. Ah, I need more hands, or I don't know what I need. Look, this doesn't look like it's done. I would never still be in this here, though. Look, it's still trying to go again. <laughs> Let me see the next number I had written down after. No, 1740. There is a real number at 40. No, this is it. Be out. I mean, you should be out. I mean, no one's still in this, are you? <laughs> oh my goodness all right so I don't even know if I can call it again I really don't even know if I could call that again but I am going to call this again but I don't know if I can call C CHK again it just went to the target <laughs> so what is the story with this what's this gonna have to do to really get the momentum back into it it did break 35 but not convincingly is that the situation with this no. Uh, new call in this, a new entry, new ad. Stop's got to be 50, though. 03 by 50. 03 by 50, it's not small, HPQ. 03 by 50, HPQ, if you want to do an ad or take more, and the only way you're doing this is if you are going to hold this trade to 34. If this is fine. It's not doing anything wrong. We just sat and stared and watched something go... 500 million miles, but here, look, this just triggered again. HPQ, through the low again, this is fine, I'm still in this trade. I still have the whole position, and I wish I would have done them both, but it's very hard to do that in running room. But this really, 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 really was good. And that's it, that's the trade is done. Can't call that again, but fabulous. This is, that, this is what I call the money move. We're gonna start to call this now, I'm gonna start to refer to this as exactly what it is, which is a, another thing I made up. This is the money move, and there it is in that. And we didn't get that yet in this. That hasn't happened yet in this, so let's see if we can get that. The move that makes the money, here it goes, under 35 HPQ. I don't know why this is struggling except for the fact that it's HPQ. But if you're in this, you're up. And you were never not up. And I have the whole position. Time of the day is 946. Can't call on CK, CHK again. What did that rate? I mean, I, I I really did a good job picking through things today. I mean, there were so many things today. It was ridiculous. There were there were so many down gaps today. I didn't even look at any ups. Here, here we go. All right, pay attention. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get going here. And I'm going to get out of half somewhere again. Time of the day is 947. This is a nice, beautiful thing here. Come on, let's just get going already. I will never forget one day that I did a trade in this. I will just never forget it. Who was here with me? Shower Singer. Shower Singer might be the only person that was here with me the day we did this two years ago or something. Do you remember that, Shower Singer? You remember this HPQ from a long, long, long time ago? You would have been the only one that would have been here. And I don't even know if you were here, but I think you were. All 
Oh my gosh, this just doesn't want to do it yet. Sour Singer doesn't remember it. Nobody, nobody that's here now might have been uh, here with me when this happened then in the room. I thought Shower Singer was here, but if he wasn't, then nobody was. It was too long ago. Let's find it. <clears throat> you could be out of half of this. Yeah, you can. I'm not, but you could. Yep, here it was. So nobody was here with me this day. Although I had the room and I and I had it and people have either gone off trade on their own or whatever. Nobody's here since back then. I thought Shower Singer was. Are you sure you weren't? You were. You were here. You found me early 2013. It was like the spring of 2013. You, you, you did the class, I think. You just don't remember the gap. Uh, so the length of this bar here is 20, 23.24 is the high, low is 21.81. And in fact, I really, yes, I do. I have this actual gap in the entries class because I will never forget it. There's just some days that you just never forget it. You were here, but you don't remember it. Yeah, I thought you were here because I think you found me in March of 2013. So... The length of the bar here, the day of this gap, this is a big move for HPQ. It was August 2013. Here we go. This is the other reason why I was like, I am holding this today. I had a beautiful entry in this on the day of the gap. Aggressive, perfect, fabulous, moved, had a good morning move, was up a lot, broke later. Broke, broke in the morning, kind of like this. It was almost exactly like this, actually. It was almost this exact kind of thing actually like this. This is why I just thought of it. Where it had the move, and I was up, and then it went to a target, and I was up, and I was up a good amount of money, dollars and cents-wise, and I think even R-wise. Like, it wasn't something crazy, but it was like, it was at least three R's. And it was after 10. And it did something that, went to an area. It was it was a number I'd written down and it was after 10 and I just did it. I did it. I'm, I was managing the trade. I managed the trade and I got out of the entire position and literally after that it fell off a planet. Like it almost just nosedived like the way this thing here just did here. And I will never forget it because I knew that I had conviction it was going a certain number and I knew it did something I knew it did something in the gap, and I knew it did something in the morning trading action that told me it had a huge target in it. And this same thing for this here today as well. So that's why I'm still in this. But I got to tell you, it is almost 10 o'clock, and this did break the low twice, and it hasn't really gotten going. But I'm reminded here about this experience I had with that back two years ago, and it, and it, and it did the same thing where it broke late. And I don't know why, and I'm not saying that's going to happen here again today, but I'm saying I saw something in it that I knew was good, and I didn't give up on the conviction back in August of 2013. I, I was money managing myself. I just was. And the time of the day. But, you know, it's kind of reminding me of that here because, again, time of the day is almost 10 o'clock. And this thing hasn't fallen off a planet yet. But it it has told me information in the gap and the certain numbers that the potential is there. You never know what something's going to do until it does it for the potential. But that's trading. Dave said today was the first time he saw an invisible tick. Well, that's funny. I, I didn't realize you never saw one before. Oh my God, that's another thing I have to write down for the dictionary. One of these days we should just have like a powwow and you can write down, we can just talk about all the words that I have to put in a dictionary. That's another one. I really wish I would have done the both though. I mean, this is like spectacular. There it is. Look, what a what a way to close out February here. Look at this. I told you yesterday we're gonna have something huge this week. That it was this. And HPQ, I'm still in, and I really feel like that's gonna go another dollar too. 
But look at that. Yesterday, I told you, we're going to have something big this week, and I don't know when, and I don't know what it is, and I have no idea. It was this. And HPQ as well today with the potential in it because of the gap. But I told you, and today's Wednesday, but I'm telling you that these are the big plays here this week right now. And this is why you maximize yourself. And I did do the ratings, and I put the numbers in the room, and this just went to the dream target. So, you know, I'm in this, but there's not doing anything wrong except for the fact that it's taking a long time. But this is life. And it's still only 9.53. And the market is not against us today, intraday. I'm not saying the market isn't strong. It is. I'm not saying the market falls off a planet today. I'm not saying the market goes red even at all or even closes red at all today. I'm just saying we don't have the market against us today to, to short. And so, therefore, short, short, and we have good gaps. And HPQ, I, what is it going to take? Let me just look here. There's something that's a problem here. I mean, there isn't really, but... <clears throat> This really isn't a break of the whole number. I know it broke through eight cents, but that doesn't count. So this really has to convincingly break through, and it really hasn't convincingly broke the whole number. And now I see this here. So that is what it is. I don't think it's a problem, but it's basically this area. But it's going to get through it, but I don't know what time. Anyways, let's talk about a couple of things because I'm not doing anything else and I can't possibly call CHK. Write in the room who did that CHK. Write it in the room right now. You have a huge day right now. You have a massive day. You have a monster day. If you're in HPQ and CHK, you have a monster day. Who did that CHK? Write it in the room. Jeff B. did it, and he didn't do the Golden Gap class, but he signed up for the Wealth class, so we got one month free in the room. And boy, he just paid for the class. How much size did you take of that CHK, Jeff B.? And that's why you need to do the class. Because if you did the class and took that trade, you could have made $3,000 today for the class. That's, that's why you need to take the class. It's like, seriously, you should have done the class last weekend. You just made, that's, there you go. You only made 30 cents. How could you only make 30 cents? You only made 30 cents on this? Why? Oh, my Lanta. Jeff Bean did this, and you, you shorted it at 18.30, which was not the call. But anyways, you shorted it late, and you got out of it too early. I have no idea why you did that. You got out too early. No, you shouldn't complain. You're up money, but I'm just saying you shorted that late and got out early. All right, let me look here. Lineage is writing some commentaries. Lineage, we'll go over that in our mentoring session. But you rated this and it rated good anyways. So I don't know what you're worried about. Uh, I just lost my train of thought here. What was I going to say? What were we talking about before? I wanted to talk. Oh, I know what I wanted to talk about. This morning, somebody wrote in the room that this was falling off a planet. It was Jotho. Okay. This was before the open, after I had rated the gap, late. It was after 9.15. And that was upsetting to him because of the fact that he thought there was a possibility then that it may not do it on the day because of the way it was falling hard into the open. Now, what does that mean? When something, when you get up in the morning and you rate it, is it always at the same price that you rate it? Look at this. This is, this is good, people. Look, if I wanted to get nuts today, I'd take more here, but it's so far past my entry price. If you if you if you rate something and it the price changes, could you re-rate it? Yes. Do I do that? No. Why? Because I already rated it and my eye is good and my eye will know if it will discount the rating, meaning lose a point or gain a point. Here we go, HPQ. Don't give up on this, people. I know it's taking a long time, but you gotta have conviction today. And you should have conviction every day, or why even trade? 
Anyways, the you could you could re-rate it. You could. I don't have time to do that. And my eye is good enough that I don't need to do that. But I'm just saying that you know, when, when we're talking this morning and somebody said it's falling off a planet, I think it had dropped 30, 40 cents or something. That wasn't falling off a planet. You've got to get in this mentality where you don't, you, you, it's like the way that people are looking at the market, which we were talking about this morning. It's, a, it's this exaggeration type of mentality that traders have. Traders have that with money too. Now listen to what I'm saying here. And I can talk while I'm watching this here and I'm in the whole thing. And I don't want to stop. <laughs> like, if you're up a certain amount of money, you could be exaggerating the amount that you're up that you feel like you have to get out because you're up too much. Just like you can exaggerate the fact that you're down and you might not be down a lot. You might only be down a little, but you exaggerate the fact that you feel like you're down a lot, even though it's really not a lot. Like, you risk one R in the trade, you're down in the trade. You might be down down in it. You're not down the full R, obviously, because it can stop you out. You're in the trade, you're giving it a chance to work, you're down a half an R, maybe you're down more than a half an R. But you're in the trade, you're letting it play out, but you feel this exaggeration kind of thing that traders feel like, oh my gosh, you know, like this, you know, I'm down. But it's not doing anything wrong. Same philosophy with sometimes when people are up, and that's why they kill their trades too early, and they feel like they're up, and it's the exaggeration like, oh my gosh, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. And I feel like you feel like you're up a lot, but it really isn't a lot. You're just up, and then you feel like you need to get out of it. When the trade actually is showing you, and HPQ is showing you that this isn't doing anything wrong, and this has huge potential, and I do everything that I said, okay? But you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm up. I'm up 40 cents or 50 cents or 35 cents or wherever you hit this and got it, and you feel like you got to get it out, like you're up. Like you could be up a couple hundred dollars here even with an intermediate risk. So you feel like, oh my gosh, I got to get out. But it's not doing anything wrong. And it's telling you the way that it's acting, the way that it's trading, the way that the gap is, that it actually is fine. But this exaggeration type philosophy is actually nothing but fear that tends to permeate traders' thoughts. And that's why that comes up. And it's the same thing the way people are looking at the market. It's an over-exaggeration for people to say the market's extended. It's not extended. It's an over-exaggeration for people to say it's going to crash because I, I don't see anything. There's not even anything that even remotely would indicate that. There's absolutely nothing that even re remotely, even remotely indicate the market's going to crash. But I plopped that information in the room because I wanted to prove a point, not for you to read that junk from some other place, but I wanted you to know how crazy it is that people say things out there and if you allow that to get into your head you're not going to do the right thing focus on the trade focus on the gap focus on the market focus on the gaps focus on reading the price action of the gaps and nothing else and just discount all the crap that's out there because it's going to hurt your level of conviction and traders just tend to exaggerate and i thought i sometimes can exaggerate things but i actually do that less now than i did even five years ago and really, I do it less than most people, actually, that trade or that are traders or trader educators. But, you know, I'm really not exaggerating at all. Look at this market. Oh, I, I'm not calling this long here, but I kind of feel like it. But I'm not going to. <laughs> but I could. Here, I really might even call this again. And I'm not doing this. Here, you can short this right here at the stop at 1810. There you go. It's a kamikaze, if anything, but this could go another 50 cents, and there's a 10, 20 cent stop. 1810, 1810, 20 cents. This could go down to 1750, 1740. Who the heck knows? It could go to 17 dollars. I'm just calling a kamikaze right here in this. If you made money in it, you want to take a little teeny weeny 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 bit, you could take this here and put the stop at 1810. Look at that. <laughs> Trader Gal. Trader Gal, what did you do today? Did you do them all? This is setting up with a five minute chart. If you took out of it and you want to take it in again and you want to do this again, I'm going to call another trade in this again. You could do this with a stop at 35. 35 by 35. 35.00 is a short. Put the stop at 35.35. Hold on, I'm going to just turn something off here one second. Let's wait one minute.
Okay, I'm back. There is no new stop on this. My stop, the original stop, I'm in for the original position. I'm saying if you want to take a new train, you'd be shorting it at 35, and you put the stop at 35.35. That's only if you exited the trade. If you're in the original trade with me, don't move the stop. You're letting it play out, and you're up. And there's no way it's going to get anywhere even near where we took it. But if you take a new trade in this, the stop is 35.35. And we're going to get this here into 10 o'clock through the break. <clears throat> this market is hilarious. Uh, so anyways, getting back to what I was saying, there was a lot of things today, and I did a good job picking them down, just picking through the ones, and I'm just looking at some of these here. Look at this HTZ. Boy, that was insanity. Man, I really, we did the good things today. Well, this worked. We could have done this. Spread is only 30 cents. I'm looking at this, this one flipped. I'm just I'm just scanning through some of the things here today that I didn't pay any attention to and that I didn't like and I didn't rate. And what happened with whatchamacallit? And what happened with this? All right, hold on. Lion Edge is sweating a bullet. This is the tenth time, I don't know if it's the tenth time, but this is the tenth time that HPQ has reached down to 35, only to bounce off of it. At what point would you say to get out of 35? Does anyone want to answer that question for Lineage besides me? Why doesn't somebody else answer that? Shower Singer says never. Why do you say that, Shower Singer? And anyone else want to be honest and answer? Shower Singer, why would the answer be never? Great Gatsby saying three. 3.59 in the afternoon. <laughs> That's too late to exit a trade, but I get what you're saying. Shower Singer says, this isn't what I thought you were going to say, but I'm going to read it, because the longer it takes, the more likely we hit the next target. Well, that's an interesting concept. That's not what I was thinking, but he's right. Anyone else? Nobody else even cares. Is anyone in it or did anyone kill it? Right into the rim. Who killed this? JJ killed it because he wanted to go out and trade futures. He did this and he just got out and he's done for the day. Does anybody else? He's He already signed out. Anyone else? Did anyone else kill this? Who got out of this and killed it and you basically just didn't care anymore? Jotho's still in it. Anyone else take out of this? Jex killed it. At least you're honest. Cruiser's still in it. Dave took half. Honesty counts. Trader Gout, are you out the whole thing? Jeff B's still in it. Line 38 took out half. Catwoman, not yet. Trader Gout, did you kill the whole thing? Yep, Trader Gout's out of the whole thing too then. Jeff B added one, smite out again. Red is still in it. Galahad in it full. Lion is you're having faith. Jaguar Paw, I'm in it. Did it not in the second entry? Oh, you're really getting aggressive now, Jaguar Paw. All right, so line at this point was valid. Where do you get out of it? You can time yourself at the time of the day if you have to get going somewhere. Like if you have to leave by a certain time and the stock hasn't gotten going to the next target and you have to be on your way. If you have a meeting or you have a doctor's appointment or you have to pick your kids up at school or you have to go to a job. Uh, that is a valid reason that you could get out of something. It did hit the first target. It was 35. The time of the day is 10.08. 
I don't have to be anywhere right now, and I actually really, really like this gap. I have 100% conviction and no chance of failure that it worked today as a short. Am I expecting a big move in this? Yes. Did I get it in this no, yet? No, no. I haven't gotten the money move in this yet, and I do like it, and it's not doing anything wrong, and that's the biggest reason why I wouldn't get out of it at 35. If it gets to be late, I may have to get out of it if it's not going, and I have to do a webinar today. But other than that, I'm leaving the trade be, and I'm not going to kill it early because I really like the gap. I have 100% conviction in the gap and no chance of failure that it doesn't have a move today. Did it have a move today? Yes. Do I expect it to have a bigger move than this? Yes. Do I have the market against me? No. Is the time of the day late? A little bit, but not really. Remember, these are uh, things we look at, but not exact like to the second. And what happened in this today that I didn't expect in the open, which is that it dropped hard. Here this goes. Man, oh man. Really? $34. I, the, it, it, it actually didn't open exactly the way that I thought that it would. I still did it, but it didn't open exactly the way that I thought that it would. So this timing here of this getting here, here it goes. Here it goes. HPQ. HPQ. And I don't know why any of you killed it at all when I said NCOF for this today. But anyways, the bottom line is that I also really... This, the fact that it did what it did into the open, here this goes, here it goes, let it go, people. Here it goes, here it goes. The fact that it did what it did into the open, look at this. And, and the market's holding here, and this is still dropping. And I'm not going to call this long, but gosh, golly, I could. The, the fact that this did what this did into the open meant it had to work itself out. And it was working itself out. And then the whole time we're waiting for it to go, we're watching the market with a little bit of red, and we're in the trade, and we're up, and we're up in the trade. And it came in that first target and bounced. It was working itself out. And I remember if that's what happened with the other one back from before. I think it had a bigger morning move than the one from before, which is why I did end up getting out of that. Like, it had a bigger morning move than the one from before back in 2013. This, But this is working itself out. And that time in there that it's working itself out, because it opened different than I thought, is not a bad thing. Unless it's doing something that it's telling me that it's a bad thing. But it didn't. And that's what I told you that it wasn't. Okay, Jeff B. still took more. So again, I'm just reading the live price action line in to determine if I think this is really done at 34.5, which I didn't, I didn't think. But if you did think that and you had to get out or do something, then fine. You learn from experience. Jaguar Paz still into the second out entry. Dave, break of 35 is brewing. He just did it. Jaffo, here it goes. You stay because of lack of a real bounce at 10. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, what about a stop at 35.25 or 35.30? Great Gatsby, stop trying to change what I taught you. I, I Make it up yourself if you want, but I'm not telling you to do anything different than what I'm telling you to do. Don't try to change what I taught you. It works. It's good. Literally. Come on. You 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 put you got out of a trade on Friday that went on to work. You ended up retaking it when when your trading and your commissions are going to be in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. You, you take the stop where I tell you to take it in the trade and everything else. Don't try to invent the wheel here. There's no reason for you to. You did the class, and the entry you did yesterday didn't make any sense in something. Follow the rules that I taught you. Don't try to make up new ones. If you're in this, you could be out of some of this, but don't lower the stop. If you're in this and you want to take out half, take it. But I'm not lowering the stop. And this is taking forever, though. Hmm. All right, so here we go. So CHK, yeah, I, I did call again. You could have shorted this again. I mean, this doesn't even look half bad at all. It's really actually crazy. I'm not going to take a late trade in this, but it actually looks very good. It's going to trigger in the 5 and the 15-minute chart. It's can't get over 18, and I actually like it. This has a potential target of 17, and that sounds insane. This is a monster move here in this, and if you redid this, fine. Did anyone reshort it? I didn't think I was going to be able to call it again. I thought that was it, but now I'm seeing this here, and it's weak, 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 weak. And time of the day here is still good. It's 10.15. 
You could actually be in the CHK again with a stop at 1810. I'm not in it, but it's going to go. This is nuts. Look at this thing. Look at this. I wish I would have done them both, but I didn't. I called them both, and some of you did do them both, so great job. This is going to go again. Uh, I still have the stop at the original stop. Once again, not changing anything. The only reason I did that yesterday and win is because I knew I had to leave the house. And you could have been in win all day. The stop and win was 27. It held the entire day and went to the bigger target. And I had to get going and go somewhere. And I don't have to go anywhere today. I have to do a webinar. The webinar is at 430. But, you know, I don't think I'll be in this till 4 o'clock. All right, Jeff B. took more of this, too. Don't start getting piggy. You have a good price now. Every time you take more at a lower price, a lower price, a lower price, a lower price, you're killing your price. You should take the, here, this, he's bringing up a good point. You should take the absolute maximum amount of your position size at the first entry. If you do an ad, this is how you do it. You add less than your original sizing or same. Don't take an ad and add more than your original sizing because then you're adding more position sizing at a worse price and it really cuts into your price. I'm just, this is just a tip, okay? If you do an ad, it should never be more than the original sizing position size because you're going to really just rip through that price. And you're already going to, you're already going to change it anyways, no matter what, doing an ad. But it'll be like a bump or it'll be double it, which will be profitable and be worth it. Don't ever add more later worst of the original. In other words, what I'm saying is if you have a thousand shares of something, don't take 2,000 shares and an ad at worst price through your price. It really just is awful. Here this goes. Here this goes. Here we go. HPQ right down. 34.60 and I'm out of half of this and you can take the whole thing out if you want to, but it's going to go there. Gosh darn it. It's going to go to 34. This is a great call. Great call and good job everybody that stuck with it. Great job everybody that stuck with it. There's no stopping it now. It's going. It's breaking through 34.75. Every number here, I know you had to be patient, but it's only 10.15. We're so, you people are so spoiled. And no wonder. Look at this. Here, you can take this again. Stop is 18.10. And I could actually call the market long. I really could. But I'm not going to because you shouldn't do anything else if you did these trades today. You're up in a boatload of money. But when you do an ad, don't add more size later, worse price. Here this goes. This is a great call. You could have put the stop at break even and not lost in it. So I don't know why anybody really got out of this unless you really had to go. All right, same size is okay. Thank you, you're welcome. Oh, you got to go. But 34 a close of day, that's fine too. All right. Um, does anyone have any questions? is today, the 25th. Here this goes. This is a nice call. I gotta, I gotta pay attention here. I'm a little bit too relaxed. Been in this trade for 45 minutes. Let this fall off a planet. Let it fall off a planet. Just let it fall off a planet. Planet, 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 planet. Jack's right in the room while you get out of it. I mean, I know the size you're trading. I have no idea why you get out of this. Why did you get out of it? No, Jax. Jax got out of the train. Trader got out of the trader gal got out of the train. She's very particular about uh, targets, and also when she's up in R, she really hates to see it go against her. But Jax just did the class. Why did you get out of it? 
if you're listening. Was taking too long. All right. Okay. All right, let me just see here. 1018. Yeah, here this is going. Surf Dog, did you do what I called it? That This was a great call, too. I told you you could do it. I, I called it before it even triggered. I called it before it triggered on the 5 or the 15 minute. So it was a 20 cent stop. This is, look, you're already up in this. Look, here, this is going to go to 17, too. Did, I, did anyone do this? Again, I, I said you, it was valid. I called it. This is terrific. This is a huge play here. But I'm in this, and I love it. So did, Surf Dog, did, you did that. All right. Very good. Excellent. 17.25 in the teens, 17 if you get it. And HPQ time of the day is 10.19. I'm just wondering if I should get out of half here soon. I'm going to get out of half of this here soon if it doesn't break the low because of time of the day and managing myself. Put the stop back in for the original stop and hold it on down. But here, we can get the whole thing down. Let's go. Come on. HPQ, 10.19. I'm not going to hold this whole thing, though, through here until late trade. That I just decided. Even though I think it still keeps going. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have so much to do today. It's not even funny. Here it goes. Here we go. HPQ. Beautiful call. Trading is easy if you know what to do. Easy. Look how easy it was for me to call these things today. Jeez Louise. And there were 7,000 bearish gaps, and I just picked out. I went poop, 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 and I picked out the best ones. Trading is easy if you know what to do. And if you know what to do, it is hell in a hand bucket. I'll tell you that right now. But if you know what to do, it is so easy to make money in the market. I, I, I have to have a gap. I have to have a gap to raise 20 points or more, or I, I can't trade. But And that's out of my control. But I will tell you when I get it, it is easy. Here, hold on. Hand of the button here. I'm not holding this whole thing down if it doesn't keep breaking 75. Oh, come on already, for Pete's sakes. Well, it's going to keep going. 10, 20. So the next number was, the next number's in 15 cents. We can just, it's just going to get right on down here. I would love it if this weekend we get a whole dollar in this right away. If I get a whole dollar in this right now, I'm out. If I get a whole dollar in this right now, I'm out. But not yet. Come on. But I do think it's going to 34. That would only be 30, 30 some cents shy of the whole number though. So, man, it's going to keep going though. Really, let it go. It's going to keep going. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the way it's acting. Sorry, I didn't unplug my phone. Here it goes. New low in HPQ. Here it goes. This is a great call. Oh, look at that. Surf dog, I don't want to talk about that here in the room. I don't, I don't want to talk about that right now. And it shouldn't be about that. Everyone should train the account size that they can afford. I don't want people to start trying to mimic me with the account size, share size of me. I, you, you have to train what you are afford. It has nothing to do with the amount of money you risk. It has to do with what you feel you can afford. I don't want people start to, to be taking the exact same size as me if they don't feel they can afford it. And they would, can afford it on their own. They, it shouldn't matter what I'm taking. Here, I just got out of half of that. Hold on. Put the stop back in, the original stop. No, nope, it's going to bounce in here. All right. I just got out of half of it. Hold on. No, nope, it's going to have to be at 35.75 for the rest. And you could lower it if you want. I just took half out. Anyway, Surf Dog's asking me about, you know, sizing and everything. I don't, I want people to do what they are comfortable with financially. It is your responsibility on you. Okay. You take as much as you can afford. No more, no less. And it has to do with your count size and what you can afford and how you knew you are to taking the class. All right. Oh, that was a good exit for the half. But you could actually take, I would, I, I just took half out. Oh, that was a good idea. All right, hold on. Well, I still have half of this. I really think it continues down, but I, I think you're in this now till till, till till after lunch. I think you're in this now till after lunch or into lunch. 
I did have a good exit there in half. I think everyone should have gotten out of something if you didn't already. But I'm not saying it's done because I don't think it's done or I would have taken the whole thing. Who's in any of this with me still or not? Anyone? Let's go over the trade and then we'll just look at what's out tonight. So, you know, look at this. But it's good. <laughs> I actually took it before it hit. Was I glad I did that? Yes, but I did see this do this, and then I did sweat a little bit of a bullet. Not because I didn't think it was going to work, but because I was like, oh, crap, and then I thought it might blow me out and then reset up. But actually then I saw, I don't know what time I saw it. I either saw it here or here, and then I was like, okay, you know what? Actually, if this blows me out, it's not going to work. I don't know what made me say that, but that would, would have been true. So then I said, you know what? I'm glad I'm in it. And then it hit. Jeff B. covered half. Gal heads in it. Shower singers in half. Is anyone still in the whole thing? Let's see how many hours it's going to be if it really does go to 34. Just hang on one second here. If this goes to 34. And I'm just going to prove a point here a second. It's going to be almost five R's. So this is getting back to what I was talking to Jaguar Paw about in the mentoring session. Now, I took out of half of this. That was the right thing to do. But I'm saying if this ends up getting to 34, okay, that would be $1.40 something from wherever you took it with a 35 cent stop. It'll almost be five R's. And actually, who knows, it could break 34. But that's where it ends up benefiting you to hold some of this to a bigger number. I'm not saying you should hold the whole thing. I got out of half there. That was a good idea. It's getting late not to book have it booked any money. And I don't feel like we should be lowering the stop. But you could put the stop at break even. I'm not. But I'm just saying that you see how it really would make a difference. Because you would make five R's then or whatever on the half, which makes a difference. And you still booked money in this drop in here. That was a beautiful move. Okay? So to be able to get 70 cents in half and try to hold down for double the amount in the other half is makes sense. You see that makes sense. And that's how you get bigger days. Lineage got all out. That's fine. Jaguar paw covered half. Red is out. Surf dog's out of the whole thing. But we're doing the other one, surf dog, so that's fine. Catwoman got all out because you have an appointment. Thanks for the great call. You're welcome. And again, if you have something to do, then that's 100% understandable. But you know what? This isn't doing anything wrong. And I've said that like a hundred times, but it's really true. Does anyone have any questions about this? Look, it's going to break another low. Yay on oh, yay. Does anyone have any questions about this whatsoever? Anyone? Anyone in the world? I think, no, we just can't really lower the stop. I'm, I'm leaving it. But if you want to put the stop at break even, you could. Does anyone have any questions? Let's go over to this other one. But look at this. Wow. So Surf Dog redid it. Did anyone else? This is nice. This is great. This has a chance to go to 17. Wow, what a sell-off in here. Talk about institutional selling. There you go, CHK. This whole sector is probably getting clobbered today. I didn't look at anything else here but this. This is really beautiful. Surf Dog, hold it down. It's going to break the low. CKH, CHK, you're in half size. It's fine. And the market's holding green. And this is crazy but beautiful. 
What was the other one? Whatever happened to this? Okay, look at this. We said we didn't waste any time on it. Again, combining the information that you see and then looking at the real life price action. And that's how you trade well. Here we go. New low in this. I could be in the whole thing still, but I didn't. I did take half out, and here it goes. This is fine. Look at it. Here it goes. Let's try to get it on down here. Every anywhere it goes. Anywhere it goes. In the teens, close to 34. Anywhere here. Beautiful call. Gonna break a low right now. All right, does anyone have any questions about anything for me? If not, I'm just gonna scan and see what's out tonight, and then that's it. Any questions from anyone about anything? You need to know what you're doing with this on your own here this afternoon. If you're holding it through or lowering the stop, whatever you're doing, it's your call. No, Melissa, great call today. Thank you. You're welcome. If you didn't have your guidance, you don't know if you would have had the confidence to enter HPQ after it already dropped 70 cents right before the market opened despite the high gap rating. Thank you, Lineage. Hang on one second here. Let me just look at something. But that's why you take the class, though, Lineage. Hold on. I'm just looking at something here. And anyone else have any other questions while I'm pulling something up here on the internet? Look at this. CHK trying to cover some of the half number. That's fine. Look, HPQ is breaking down even more. I'm telling you, this is going to go to 34 today. I don't, I don't know why any of you even question me. Do you want to tell me why you even question me? What if everyone in here just did exactly what I said? I don't know why some of you don't. <laughs> I wish I did everything I said, but I don't have 25 hands and I'm talking at the same time. Do you have any idea how hard that is? If I didn't love to talk and wasn't great at talking, and if I didn't think so fast on my feet, which is because of my brain, I could never even do this at all. And you'd just take the class and you'd be on your own, which you could train on your own because I taught you how to do it. But if, I, if my brain didn't work at lightning speed, then I could never even do this at all. You do know that, don't you? But I only have two hands for Pete's sakes. Let me just see where this went. Okay, so this basically went to the first target. It did. 34.63 was the number, and it just bounced off of it at 66. Crap. Uh, 34.63 is a target, and it just bounced off at 66. Uh, let me just look at the market.
You can go along the market today. I'm really not going to call that as an official call, but you could. I don't know if it falls through today, but you know what? Here, right now, I'm telling you the market. If the market doesn't fall through higher today, up to the next number, the big, big target it will tomorrow. We are going to close February. It, it will be by the end of the week. And I said this earlier. Here, hold on. Let's just figure out what we're doing with this. I'm, sta I'm staying with it. You could take this all out here because it just did bounce in a number in the time of the day. I just, I just realized that now, and I'm talking, 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 talking. And I'm thinking about so many other things. But I tell you right now, you could be all out of this. You could be all out of this right in here. I'm going to give it a chance and stay with it. Uh, you know, I'm going to be in the house today anyways. But this did just bounce. This is going to bounce. This is going to bounce right in here. And I still think it continues down. But if you want to get all out of it, that is the morning low. It's 1034. That's the morning low. And it was a target. I'm going to stay with this because I just missed the bounce. And it bounced up 20 cents. But that doesn't mean you have to stay with it. I still think it's fine. If anything, it goes back down to the low or breaks it. And if anything that I get out of it here, which is a similar number, then I would get out of it here anyways. So, but this doesn't do anything like wrong here now tonight, but it's going to have a bounce in the off. This is bouncing right now. If I had seen that touched on that 60 some number right away, I would have hit it out, but I didn't. But anyways, uh, this is going to bounce now. Uh, so the market call is this. I said yesterday the market's going to base, 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 base and not go higher either until the end of the month is one possibility. It's going to base and base and base. But then I saw the market was going to go higher yesterday and then I called it long and some people went long it. So then when we did that and then I'm seeing how we're acting here today, today is Wednesday. Between now and Friday, the market will carry through this month now. It's going to do it. It's going to close the month incredibly strong. I'm seeing that that is going to happen now in the next two and a half days. So yesterday, before I called along in the market, or maybe it was the day before now, I've lost I've lost track of the days. I said the market has two things it's going to do here for the rest of the month. It's either going to base, 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 and wait to break out higher, but it's not going to pull in this week, or it's going to break out higher, follow through higher, get up to the next target this week. I'm telling you that is what that's going to do now. If we got today, Thursday, Friday. Market will continue higher for sure this week, and I don't think it's going to be today. That's why I'm not making an official call in this, but it's going to be between now and Friday. Market will close February incredibly strong at another new high, and I don't know what that means for March. I won't know until I see it, but I'm just telling you what I see now for the next two days. This is not a guess. It's a prediction based on price action I'm reading every day. And every gap, and in this live time action right now, I'm reading the market. Do you see the difference between what I do and what other people do? I'm telling you based on right now, the second. That's why I'm saying things when I see it in a second. In the moment I see it and I'm saying it and I'm saying it. That's how I know because I'm seeing it right now. It's the same thing with this. And I'm still in half of this. Um... You're not questioning me if you didn't believe me you wouldn't pay for the class. <laughs> That's a good answer, Great Gatsby. You trust me, you're experimenting, figuring out in your own. I, I But I, I just would, I, that's fine. That's totally fine. You can figure it out on your own. But I hate to see you take a trade, kill a trade, and take it again, or kill it again, or take it again. So be careful. And I saw your email about the, the uh, platform. You got to call customer service. Call customer service or go online and schedule an actual session for free to go over how to use the platform online or over the phone for an hour because you absolutely have to do that because you have to know how to take the trades. And they will do that for you free of charge. Customer service. All right. Does anyone have any questions about anything else at all? Beautiful, 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 beautiful day if you did everything. If you did this and got all out. If you did it again in the 15 minute and you're still in it. If you did HPQ and you held it on down with me. If you did any of these things or all of these things, you are up. No one should be down today. I didn't call one call that didn't work. Is anyone in anything that they want to go over? If not, I'm going to let everybody go. This is going to bounce. It's probably going to bounce over 35. If you chintz the stop, you're going to get dinged out and still could go on to work. It did just bounce off of a target, though. I missed it because I was talking, but I still like it. I don't have to be around here anyways. And I'm ready out of half, so I don't have to sweat a bullet. Anyone have any questions about anything at all? <laughs> I, I need a vacation to catch up with things I have to do with my regular life. George's worlds are colliding now between professional and personal life. I'm behind on things with my personal life, and I'm going to need to take a vacation, which is not going to be a vacation to take care of things in my personal life. 
because George's worlds are colliding between being behind in personal things. I'm up to date in professional things, but not personal things now. All out of HPQ. That's fine. Do whatever you got to do. All righty. Galahad, we're having the mentoring session tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Dream target on CHQ. Surf Dog has a dream target. Dream target? If this continues lower here, it's, I'll tell you right now, this has got till 12 o'clock. If this doesn't go and break through in here and continue down into 12 o'clock noon, it's done. But I, it looks like it's going to, actually. So you're getting it. Boy, Surf Dog, you've come a long way as well. You've come a long way as well. You can't do it. You can't. You can't do it unless you make changes to things sometimes when you learn from your past. But I encourage you to do that. So then if you do, you can. And it's up to you. It's up to you. It's all up to you. I teach you what to do, but it really is up to you because you have to do it. I can't do it for you. All right. Have a great day, everyone. I'll let everybody go. I'll probably do a video of this if I get time later. Beautiful call. Beautiful day. Everybody should be up. We're going to be very, 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 very picky Thursday and Friday. And if we're lucky here, we get some more of these. Boy, that would be fabulous. But the market will make a new high this week. I just, I'm telling you now. Thanks, Jeff B. You're welcome. Boy, you just signed up for the Wealth Manifestation class just in time, didn't you? <laughs> All right. Have a good day, everyone. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Thank you for your great calls. Melissa, have a wonderful day. You too. Ciao. You're welcome. Guess so, yes. 100% conviction. All right, have a good day, Cruiser. Bye.